Numbers chapter 13, beginning with verse 23. Numbers chapter 13. When you have it, just say amen. 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 Here's some folks still looking. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers. Just in case you're in the New Testament. <laughs> Flip it back. Here we are. <clears throat> Numbers 13, beginning with verse 23. And they came unto the brook of Eschol, and cut down from thence a branch with one cluster of grapes, and they bare it between two upon a staff. And they brought of the pomegranate and of the fig. Verse 24, read. Okay, I'm going to need you to read it loud. And they returned from searching of the land after 40 days. Read. And they went unto Moses and Aaron to all the congregation of the children of Israel unto the And they told him and said, We came unto the land whither thou sent us, and surely it flows with milk and honey, and this is the fruit of it. Read. Nevertheless, the people be strong that dwell in the land, and the cities are walled and very great, and moreover we saw the children of Anak not there. The, Amalek, the, the Amalekites dwell in the land of the south, and the Hittites and the Jebusites and the Amorites dwell in the mountains, and the Canaanites dwell by the sea and by the coast of Jordan. Verse 30, read. And Caleb still the people before Moses and said, Let us go at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. But the men that went up with him said, We be not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. Verse 32, read. And they brought up an evil report in the land which they had searched unto the children of Israel. The land through which we have gone to search it is a land that eateth up the inhabitants thereof, and all the people that we saw in the men of great stature. 33 all together. And there we saw the giants, the son of Anna, which come of the giants, and we were in our own sight as grasshoppers, and so we were in their sight. Amen. Amen. Father, I thank you that in these next minutes that you would think through my mind, speak through my vocal cords. Lord, that would be all of you and none of me. I choose to be crucified that the people of God would be edified and most of all, you would be glorified. Lord, let there be a grace on our ears. For your word declares that there's a grace on the hearers. And we thank you that through the supernatural over this body and over this people, over these families, over these households, and we agree with your word and the prophetic that you've spoken. In Jesus' name. And everyone said? Amen. 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 And amen. Now, I'm just going to recap some things and uh, then we'll get into the, the mainstream of the day. But remember, we've been talking about uh, the spirit of grace and faith and how that the spirit of faith, uh, uh, we said that believing is the attitude of faith and speaking is the initial act of faith. Yeah. We said whenever you are confronted with something that's controversial, with something that's of a negative uh, report, your first reaction, your first words, many times will bring you into your end desired result. Uh, I told you about the time I'm I went down to John Hopkins and they gave me that evil report mm -hmm. and the doctor told me, he said, well, you might as well forget about preaching. He says, because if you don't stop, uh, we're going to have to uh, 
put something, some device in you, and uh, all you will sound, uh, you, you'll sound like a robot. You won't sound like a person. And um, I knew the Spirit of the Lord quickened me, and I said, well, I'm going to dip into my reservoir of healing. I looked at the doctor right in his face. Oh, he got so mad, you would have thought I cussed him. You would have thought I threatened him. And he said, well, I've seen people like you. He said, you're kind. Now, I didn't know what he meant by that. <laughs> and he said, I've seen your kind. Now, uh, I believe he was saying, I've seen Christians come in, talking about their faith and what God going to do. And they ended up having to get, you know, a, some emergency type of surgery. But um, uh, I said, well, whatever you're talking about, it won't be me. Amen. 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 I'm coming in and healing fast as I can. Yeah, yeah. Glory to God. And uh, uh, as you can tell us, uh, I'm probably the loudest one in here. <laughs> Amen. So uh, you might can't see me, but you can hear me. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. So uh, your first initial reaction, especially when the, the report is negative, you've got to decree and declare what thus says the Lord whether it's cancer, whether it's your children, whether it's your spouse, amen, you cannot sit there and let that evil report yes. permeate yes. and saturate yes. your mind and your heart. You're going to have to open up your sanctified mouth and agree with God. Mm -hmm. The spirit of faith agrees with God. And then, after it agrees with God, it holds fast the confession. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. You know, it, you just don't say you heal right. in church. Right. Amen. Right. If you say it when you're home and all by yourself, yeah. and, and, and the, 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 what the doctor said is playing over in your mind, yeah. and you're looking at your kids and your grandkids, and the devil will tell you, you're going to die. You're not going to see him graduate. You know, and you say, I'm going to live and not die. I'm going to agree with God. I'm going to live and not die and declare all the works of the Lord. Amen. 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 So he said, uh, believing is the attitude of faith. And, and to some people, it might look like they're a little arrogant, you know, like they're a little cocky, but their boast is in God. Their confidence is is in the word of God. Their confidence is in the blood of Jesus. Their confidence is in the precious Holy Spirit. The, the, their confidence is in the more sure word of prophecy. Their confidence is in the kingdom of God and all that it does in the earth. For the believer. Amen? Amen. So uh, we said, if your faith is not strong enough to move your mouth, it will never move your mouth. Mm. You know, sometimes people don't know, what's taking so long? What's taking so long? Well, you're not saying nothing. Right. You, you say it for an hour and a half at church, but you don't say it during the week. Come on. Amen. Amen. You got to press in and make yourself say Amen. what the word says. You have to agree with God. Amen. 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 Yes. Said, well, it's not. Uh, it's not all in the sand. I didn't say it's all in the sand. Right, right. But saying is like turning the car on. That's right. right. I don't care how good the car is. I don't care if it's a Bentley, you know, or or a beat up Yugo. <laughs> I don't think they make them anymore. <laughs> but but whatever it is, you got to turn that key on. Right. Or oh, push the button. Hey, push the button. Yeah, you to turn keep it that. Some of you, you just put your foot on the brake and you put. What, what I'm saying is, you gotta turn it on. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And speaking is the initial act of faith. You have to say something, and you can always tell when uh, 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 a ministry or a person uh, is walking in the spirit of faith or believes it, because they will they will uh, clue you in on. Uh, what to say. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Because the spirit of faith speaks. Amen. 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 It just don't sit there and, and, and let the devil do all the talking. Yeah. You know, sometimes we think we're doing something. The devil's saying, you know, 
Uh, you, you, your kid's not going to make it the way you think it. Your spouse ain't never going to change. You know, you're not going to get that promotion. But you got to shut the devil down with the spirit of faith. And you got to say, you know what? Greater is he that's in me yes. than you that's trying to talk to me. Amen? Wow. The spirit of God is greater than the voice of the stranger. And the word of God says, as the people of God, the voice of the stranger, we are not to entertain. Hallelujah. Amen. So don't go along with all that negative, you know, with the evil report, because God has greater for you. Okay. Now, uh, it says over here in the book of Numbers uh, that they returned from searching of the land after 40 days. And they, and they went and they came to Moses and to Aaron and to all the congregation of the children of Israel. Numbers 13, I'm in verse 26 now. And it says, uh, Unto the wilderness of Haran to Kadesh, and brought back word unto them and unto all the congregation, and showed them the fruit of the land. Now, this is what's happening. God told them when they left Egypt, he said, I'm taking you to a land that's flowing with milk and honey. And uh, now they're, they're, they're right at the border. And uh, Moses sent the 12 spies in to search out the land. And uh, it says that, uh, you know the grapes that we hold up and, and eat? It said one cluster of grapes took two men to gather. Two men were carrying the cluster of grapes that we just put in our hand. And that, that's, how, that's how wealthy the land was. That's how great the land was. And uh, uh, it says, and they told him and said, we came unto the land, verse 27, whether thou sent us, and surely it flows with milk and honey, and this is the fruit of it. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, the people... Uh, be strong that dwell in the land. The cities are walled and very great. And moreover, we saw the children of Anak there. Mm -hmm. So uh, what, what the spies are telling Moses and Aaron, yeah, the prophecy was true. Mm -hmm. The prophecy of the land that flows with milk and honey, we saw it with our own eyes, yet, they felt like they were not able to go in and take the land. How many of you know if God said it, he's going to do it? Yes. If God said it, he's going to do it. If he spoke it, he's going to make it good. Despise not prophesying. You know, all through the word of God, especially the gospel, you see people that were uh, sick for long periods of time. And what does that, what is that telling us on an everyday basis? It's telling us delays don't mean denied. Yes. Delays does not mean denied. You had the, the woman with the issue of blood 12 years. You had the woman who was bowed over and couldn't look up. She identified you by your feet. And Jesus is in the uh, synagogue and they're, you know, they're ready to blast him again because, you know, he comes to the synagogue, he's coming with the healing power. And, 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 and they're, they're, they're troubling him about healing on the Sabbath day. And he, he throws one on him. He says, now which one of you, if your donkey or your ox or your horse fell into a ditch on the Sabbath? Now, you're, that's their money. Agriculture was the way they made their living. It's the way they ate. He said, now which one of you wouldn't pull them out? He says to them, how much more should this woman who Satan has bound these 13 years be loose right. from the hand of the devil? Yes. Amen? Amen. So we understand that, you know, God's will is to heal. Amen. God's will is to bring us out. Amen. And the spirit of prophecy is the testimony of Jesus. When prophecy is going forth in the church, that's, that's the testimony, that's the indicator that Jesus is in the midst. Amen. 
Now we understand when two or three are gathered together in his name, he's there in the midst. But but when the gifts of the Spirit are moving, especially prophecy, it says that the Spirit of prophecy is the testimony of Jesus. And so they had they had seen uh, the fruit of the land, and uh, uh, these ten spies say that we can't go in. Verse thirty says. Caleb still the people before Moses, and he said, Let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome. Yes. But the men that went up with him said, We be not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. And they brought up an evil report of the land, which they had searched unto the children of of Israel saying the land which we have gone to search it is a land that eats up the inhabitants thereof and all the people that we saw in it are men of great stature and there we saw the giants the sons of Anak which come of the giants and we were in our own eyes as grasshoppers and so we were in their sight so what they're saying is we look like grasshoppers in light of these people. But Joshua and Caleb said, uh, we're giant killers. You know, we are not grasshoppers. Amen. We are anointed of God to go in and possess the land. And so, uh, remember, Caleb gets up. And he begins to declare, and the word of God says, Joshua and Caleb, uh, they, they were of a different spirit. They were of another spirit, and that spirit was the spirit of faith. And the spirit of faith always declares what thus says the Lord. It, it agrees with God in the midst of persecution, in the midst of cancer, in the midst of... Uh, whatever the evil report is, the spirit of faith always agrees with the word of God. Amen? Amen. Now let's turn over here to, to Mark 11. Mark 11. And Jesus has just cursed the fig tree uh, the day before. And now the disciples are, are seeing it firsthand. And um, uh, they think this is Absolutely tremendous. And uh, let's pick it up. Let's pick it up over here in uh, Peter says that the fig tree, the fig tree that uh, Jesus cursed, is there now plucked up at the root. And Jesus begins to tell them how that happened. It says, And in the morning, as they passed by the fig tree, dried up from the roots, and Peter, calling to remembrance, said from the end, Master, behold, the fig tree which thou curse is withered away. And Jesus, answering, said unto him, Have faith in God, or Use your faith the way God has told you to use it. Uh, the spirit of faith, faith must speak in agreement with what thus says the Lord. So uh, Jesus is giving them a lesson on faith. And he says, for verily I say unto you that whosoever, it has no respect to persons, whosoever shall say unto this mountain. That's the problem. Yeah. Be thou removed, yeah. and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not down in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, yeah. he shall have whatsoever he saith. So Jesus said, now, whatever it is, whatever kind of problem, now, the fig tree is plucked up at the roots. So, you know, the disciples are looking and they're, 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 they're analyzing what happened on yesterday. Jesus spoke to it 
Amen. But today is Sunday. He spoke to it on Saturday. Sunday morning, they see that the fig tree is plucked up at the root. And Jesus says, this is how you have to use your faith. Number one, you got to talk to your problem. Yes. Don't just pray to me about your problem. Right. I've given you the power. Right. I've given you the kingdom. Yes. I put on you my glory. You speak to the mouth. You say yes. to that problem. Yes. Amen. Let get out of my house. Yes. Hey, I, I'm increasing more and more. Me and my children. I am prospering. I am walking in hell. Amen. Because my soul is being filled up with the engrafted word of God. My soul has to prosper because I'm feeding my soul the incorruptible, indestructible, ever living, everlasting seed word of Almighty God. I put it in my heart and now I'm declaring in agreement with God what's going to happen. And it says, it says, uh, be removed, be cast into the sea. Don't doubt in your heart. Now, if you keep saying it, your doubt will begin to leave you. Amen. 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 Lester the Summerall used to say all the time, feed your faith, starve your doubts to death, let them die. Amen. Faith comes by hearing, but it's released by you saying it. Amen. 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 And you begin to assault your problems by the word of God that's coming out of your heart, amen, through your mouth, you begin to trouble your trouble, amen, as you agree with God concerning the end desired result. Yeah. Verse 24, therefore I say unto you, what things do you desire when you pray, yeah. believe you receive them, and you're going to have it. Yeah. That means when you go into prayer, I used to pray like this, I wasn't taught this. I used to pray and pray and pray and pray and pray until I saw it. But it says, believe you receive when you pray. Amen. When you pray, you believe you receive, amen, that problem being dissolved in the name of Jesus. That problem being worked out in the name of Jesus. And it says, nothing will be impossible, amen, to you. Nothing will be impossible to you if you begin to release your faith by your words. Now, over here in Mark chapter 9, Mark chapter 9, uh, Jesus said unto the man whose uh, son was, uh, was epileptic and he's having the seizures and uh, uh, Jesus tells them, and I want to show you something right now. They, the man brings the son to the disciples. And it says, he started to move in convulsions. The spirit tore him. And uh, he's really demonstrating, uh, he, you know, he's really making a scene. And then Jesus comes down. He, he was on the Mount of, figure, tri, the Mount of Transfiguration. And uh, he comes down. And the man tells Jesus, uh, I, I need you to heal my son. I took him to your disciples. But they could not cure him. And I believe one of the reasons why the, the disciples could not cast the devil out of the, the, the young boy was because they, they got all caught up in that shaking and that hollering. See, they got all caught up with what they could see. And Jesus cast the devil out of them, and he says in verse 23, if you can believe, all things are possible to him that believes. You know, so many times you have spoken the word of God. The angels are on, are on the move. The word of God is working. But then what happens, the devil causes you to look on the situation in an emotional way. Mm -hmm. you, look at your, you look at your account, you know, and you, you, you still see that, you know, there's a deficit there. I don't know why you look at it five or six times. <laughs> All day long, you, 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 you know, you, you're looking at your bank, you're looking at your bank account, you're looking at your bank account. But, but you said money comes to me. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yes. God's going to make a way out of nowhere. Yes. He's going to make a way of 
my wilderness, he's going to bring rivers through my desert. Amen? Amen. So that you don't need to look at your account. Amen. Maybe you just need to praise God, amen, that what he promised me is surely going to come to pass. Amen. So we said that, uh, let's go over here to 2 Corinthians chapter 4. 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Because the Apostle Paul is saying this, even as David said it in uh, Psalms 116. He is declaring this in the midst of great affliction. So he, he's not, he's just not saying we all have the same spirit of faith as he is under a palm tree, you know, in a, in a, in a situation that's all good. Paul is saying that I have the same spirit of faith just like David, just like Joshua and Caleb, amen, just like Elijah and Elisha, amen. He says, I have the same spirit of faith yes. as it is written. I believe past tense, mm -hmm. therefore have I spoken. Mm -hmm. We also believe and therefore speak. But he says he's in great affliction. Look at 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 8. It says, we are, we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Uh, another translation uh, says it this way. It says, we experience every kind of pressure, yet not crushed. At times we don't know what to do, but quitting is not an option. Mm -hmm. yes, we yes. are persecuted by others, but God has not forsaken us. Mm -hmm. We may be we may be knocked down, but we are not knocked out. Yeah, yeah that's good. Yes. Amen. That's it. Now let's go over here to Psalms 116 because Paul is picking up what David declared. And David declares in Psalms. 116, beginning with verse, with beginning with verse 7, he says, now you know, we said we're talking about how the spirit of faith must speak. Now, he said, Pastor, you've been on this for a while because you don't get this don't this don't come automatic. Amen. This is against the flesh. Yes, it is. This is against the natural. The natural says what it sees. Yes. yes. You know, you know, some people read why they can't get healed. Oh, oh, they go over, oh, 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 and then you look like that. Mm -hmm. Just before she died. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Her eyes look the same way. Mm -hmm. Her hair was back. She could barely talk. You know, and they go with what they see. Mm -hmm. But the spirit of faith agrees with that. What I'm trying to tell you today, you're going to have to start saying in agreement with the word of God and not just saying what you see. Yes. I know there's one month at the end of the month. I know your back is hurt and your feet are hurting and you don't know why. <laughs> you know? Come on to the mall. I can't go to the mall. Why can't you go to the mall? My back been hurting all day and my feet. Have you been to the doctors? No. Now watch this. You're not going to the doctors. It's not an act of faith. Right, right. I need to say that because some yes. people think they're in faith, but they're they're in fear. That they're in fear of going to the doctor. That's not faith. Right. right. I need to say that again. Right. Go ahead. Not going to the doctor is not a sign of your faith. Yes. Right. Many times it's a sign of your fear. Yes. We are not afraid of evil yes. things because our heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. Our yes. heart is established. Yes. Psalm 112. Yes. So don't be talking about that. I ain't going to the doctor. I ain't going to the doctor. Oh, scary cat. Go to the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> and cut that out. You just scared. Trying to convince yourself you in faith because you're not going to. I've seen it all yes. over. Yes. So Luke was a doctor. And yes. he was easy. Yes. So we're not dead on doctor. You're right. Amen. Amen. And you let the spirit. 
get a faith go with you. Amen. And, and, and if, they, if, if they tell you something that's very negative, you get your mouth in line right away. Now let's see what David said. David says, because the spirit of faith speaks. The spirit of faith will, will, will cause you to talk to you. Psalms 116 verse 7. David's talking to himself now. He says, return unto your rest, O my soul. David's looking in the mirror. He says, look, return to your rest. Amen. Folk got you all crazy. You know, you all out of sorts. Your nerves all over the place. You're itching. And you don't even know why you're itching. You're shaking. You know, your nerves are just all over the place. And he looks and he says he's talking to himself. Hey, return to your rest. Right. That's good. You know how to rest. Spirit, I gave you Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I have no lack. He makes me to lie down in the green pastures of the Torah, the Word. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. Now, uh, uh, <laughs> David is not in that right now. He says, you know, he's been crying. He's been stumbling. He's having a hard time, but he says, return unto thy rest, O my soul. Why? The Lord has dealt bountifully with you. He's reminding himself. At 17, you killed the giant. And you were made a, a national celebrity at 17. And it was said, as your life progressed, Saul had his thousands. But David was a greater warrior. He had his tens of thousands. Every time he went into battle, he came out with a victory. And so he said, you know, you got to say things to yourself. And if you talk, you know, if you watch the news, you better talk back. My kids hear me. They'll say, so yeah, another, another uh, teenager dies. And fill out another gunshot. I said, won't come down my children. Won't come down my brother. The devil is alive. If you watch the news, you better talk back to the news. Or turn it off. Well, I hit something there. I hit something. Some of y'all watch it all day, but don't say nothing. Then you go out to have it. Should we go there? I don't know. Should we go up the blue room? I don't think so. Why, why won't you go to the blue room? I don't know. It's, it's always an accident. But I'm not coming out of your dwelling. Yeah, that's right. You better start talking to that television. Yeah. Yeah. They can talk to himself. He said, look, I'm overwhelmed. Look what he said. He said, return unto thy rest, O my soul. The Lord has no power to leave with you. What's wrong with you? He says, you've delivered my soul from death. He said, I'm a living, I die. He said, death friends. My eyes from tears. My feet from falling. David said, I, I, I've been worried. Yes. I've been stumbling. Yes. I've been fumbling. Uh. He, he, he said, you know, I've been fearful of dying. Mm. He says, I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. And he says, I believe. Amen. I believe. Therefore, have I spoken. Amen. He said, I was greatly afflicted. Mm -hmm. So David is saying this. It is affliction. And then Paul picks it up and he says, we've been persecuted. You know, we've been afflicted. He says, but, but, but we having the same spirit of faith. Paul is identifying with the saints of old. He says, I'm identifying with David. I'm identifying with Elijah and Elisha. I'm identifying with Caleb and Moses and Joshua. He says, we... Having the same spirit of faith, even in the midst of affliction, I believe, therefore have I spoken. Yeah, amen. amen. He says, and we also believe. He says, the thing, this spirit of faith is contagious. Yes. Yes. Now remember I said this, the principles of faith must be taught. Yes. You must know what's first, what you must do. You must know the way of faith. But the spirit of faith is caught. The spirit of faith is a fire. The spirit of faith is a burning. The spirit of faith says there's going to be a way made out of no way. Yeah. The spirit of faith says uh, uh, even in jail, Paul and 
silence. They've been beaten. Remember, they cast the devil on the little girl. And now they've been beaten for doing something good. There don't need to be no little girl uh, suit saying. Oh, nobody said nothing. <laughs> you know, stop looking at the astrology magazine. You know, oh, oh, I'm a Taurus. Oh, I'm a bull. <laughs> That's why you had so much problem with that girl. She's a bull. <laughs> she's a Taurus. You know she's hard headed and she's stubborn. Right. Oh, you need to get out of there. You need to connect it to something else. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You don't even know. I let that marry me a little bit. <laughs> I never see you one bed superstition. <laughs> Don't let it in your house. Amen. Get away from me. Yeah. Well, that's not my problem. Well, hey, just get away. Just get away from me. Yeah. Don't let it influence Amen. your mouth. Amen. 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 And don't go around and spoke with their sign. Right. What's your sign? I'm saying that's my sign. I'm a royal priest. I'm a holy nation. I'm a chosen generation. I'm a peculiar vessel whom the Lord called out of darkness into his marvelous light. Folks, saints can be influenced by doctrines of devils and seducing spirits. Right, right, right. You can be influenced by that because Satan's his, his method is deception and his target is divine. Yes. This is what, 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 what my psychic said the other day. Pastor, my sight is it in line with you. No, you're not. The devil is alive. Right, right. And so you don't need to be, you know, I'm hitting something right now, but I was, yeah, I, this, this is not a new script. Yeah. But the saints is all up in there. You know what? All you need is the word of God. Now you want to invite demons? You want to invite that influence in? It's going to delay you. Yes. Mm. Mm. Well, yeah, I'm a Christian. I'm okay, you a Christian. What would you, you, you're flirting with the demonic. Mm. Well, my mom, she, she, she reads the newspaper too. Where you both from? <laughs> yeah, that don't mean nothing. You yeah. know, that was Saul. The Saul had a problem. He always, you know, he, you know, he flirted with, you know, yeah. that, that he knew the Lord, uh, Almighty God, because he was anointed to be king. But you know, he, uh, he the night before he died. He is, he went to the witch at Endor. Because he wanted to see Sarah. Mm -hmm. See, you gotta watch. You can't make us see. Mm. You can't make us. I'm going to be up, you know, prophet, what the Lord say, prophet? I can't make them see. You know? And sometimes you love people. I don't know, some of you have this happen, especially you ministers. You know, folk is trying to, you know, pull out of you what the Lord is saying. You know, hey, just don't mind her or nothing. When I do, I'm going. Yeah. Then I've had people stand right in front of me. I said, go. I'm not going to prophesy because you missed it. Or tell them this. I think I'm so full of my God. You go so full of my God. Go read your Bible. That's the word of the Lord. You read your Bible. I heard uh, the late John Osteen say one time, he said uh, a man told him that he was uh, going over there, he was prophesying over him that he was going after him. And Pastor Osteen said, you better take the guy who told you that. He said, why is that? So he can prophesy to you when you should come back. You just can't go off of everybody speaking over you. And you certainly can't be uh, uh, listening to psychics and, and listening to uh, reading the astrology pages. God don't mix. He don't mix with the spirit of Be Beelia. He doesn't mix. Amen? Amen. Tell your neighbor, God don't mix. God don't mix. So stop it. I'm in the house this morning. Yeah. 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 Amen. You know, you know, you know, God's people, you know, we 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 great for 
Lord, you know, did it. Mm. <laughs> we missed it. Come on, Pastor. Okay. But he never know the, the, the Lord did you know the Lord said. But the Lord said what? As long as that he right before he dies, he goes to the witch of Endor. Because Samuel the prophet is gone, and, and he's so used to going to the prophet instead of going to God himself. He was the king. Yes. That's good. Return unto thy rest, O my soul. The Lord is self bountifully with you. He has delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears. My feet from falls. You know, David said, you know, he said, I was, I, I was scared of dying. I was crying. I was stumbling. He says, but the spirit of faith worked all that out. Amen. I believe he started to speak. He started to say, I'm going to live and not die. And if, don't let the devil speak a death sentence over you and skip you. Answer that voice and say, I'm going to live and not die. I'm going to see my children, my grandchildren, and my great-grandchildren. Yes. I'm going to let them I'm satisfied. Yes. You're not going to take me out because right. I'm coming in. Yes. You know how you not be taken out? You go all the way in. Yes. You get in the Word and you start speaking to every voice that is contrary to what you believe in for. Come on. Yes. Now, remember this. There's three types of people. Museum, museum keepers, settlers, and pioneers. Museum keepers are willing to dust off the memories of the past. They, they just watch. They just dust off the memories from the past. Mm -hmm. Settlers are people who, you know, they find their comfort zone and then they stop. As soon as they get their comfort zone, that's when they settle. And then there's pioneers. They are the people who are constantly pressing for new territory, like you and I. Yes. You're constantly pressing. You're constantly moving on, amen, in the greater territory that the Spirit of God has for you. Amen? So remember this, and I close. The Spirit of faith has a belief system. And that belief system is in the word of Jesus. It's in the blood of Jesus. That belief system is in who I am, who we are in Christ. Yes, yes. And, and, and now watch this. And it also speaks. Because if you don't say anything, you can lose by default. <coughs> If you don't speak to your mountain, if you don't declare your victory, you can lose by default. Yeah. 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 So you declare over your children, you declare yeah. over your family, you yeah. declare, yeah. amen, over everything and everyone, yeah. amen, that God has given you victory, amen, and you are not going to be yeah. without. Yeah. Amen. 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 amen? Amen. Now, the spirit of faith does not focus on what it does not have. Now, you might not have the education you want. You might not have the vocabulary or, or the money or the friends that you desire. But the, the spirit of faith does not focus on what it does not have. Remember blind Barnabas? He had eyes. He didn't have eyes. But he had a voice. And he declared, he spoke what it, he used what he had to secure what he didn't have. He said, Jesus, son of David, uh, have mercy on me and uh, that I might receive my sight. See, the spirit of faith don't go around telling people what they don't have. Right. 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 Amen. My significant other is bad. <laughs> Children bad. And then my job is bad. I can't stand my job. Mm, my boss is bad. <laughs> yeah. The spirit of faith doesn't focus on what it does not have. Barnabas used his voice, and his voice secured what he what, what he needed. His voice got his sight. Hey, did you see that? Amen. His voice. 
Amen. He didn't complain about, you know, I can't see. Everybody can tell he couldn't see. Stop complaining about all that. Everybody can tell what you don't have. Yes. But use what you have yes. to secure what you don't yes. have. Yes. David got the spirit of faith at 17. Mm -hmm. Joshua and Caleb had it at 80. Mm -hmm. Moses had it at 120. Got to have the spirit of faith at, at, at 120. You still running up and down the mountain. Eyes not dim. Natural force is not evaded. Mm -hmm. And then Joshua stops the sun in the valley of Adam. If you stop the sun, mm -hmm. you know you can it. And it says... The Lord never hearkened to a voice of a man like that. Yes, he stopped the sun. Mm -hmm. He said, Lord, we got to we gotta finish these heathens now. I don't want to come back tomorrow. Stop the sun. Sun, stand still. Mm -hmm. In the valley of Azulon. Al Al mm -hmm. So there's, there's a spirit of faith. Amen. And we got to begin to open up our mouth. And declare what God's, I, you know, sometimes I heard this before. Pat, you can speak to the Remember what I said. If you don't apply these things, it will move to a mental ascent. Right. Yes. And a mental ascent won't, won't move anything. It's the faith that moves your mouth. But if you keep on saying, I know that, I heard that before, I heard that before, I know that verse, if you don't apply it, you will have a mental ascent towards a particular doctrine, but not a behavior that walks in and manifests that doctrine in your life. Amen. So, stir it up. Stir it up. Stir it up. David said, the Lord lit his candle. He said, the Lord light my, he lit my candle, Psalms 18, 28. He said, the Lord lit my candle, and he enlightened my darkness. Paul told Timothy, stir that spirit of faith up. Yes. Amen. He says, your mother and your grandmother had great faith. Yes. He says, and I know that faith is working in you. Now, stir it up. Yes. Stir it up. Yes. The principles of faith must be taught. But the spirit of faith is called. Amen. As you stir it up. Amen. Amen. As you stir yourself up. Amen. And let that fire burn. Amen. On the inside of you. And you will believe for the impossible. Amen. Because nothing is impossible. Amen. Amen. With your God. Amen. 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 You are victorious. Remember the spirit of faith has a voice. Yes. And it's a voice of victory. We are well able to overcome whatever comes our way. Amen. Because we have the same spirit of faith as it is written. I believe and I'm going to speak. Glory to God. Now watch this. We all do it on the negative side. Right. Get on the phone, tell all our business. <laughs> Talking all your business, all, all your fears, everything. Right. But God says, you agree with me. Amen. 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 And watch the walls come Amen. 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 Come on, somebody give God praise. Amen. Somebody give God praise. Come on, somebody give God praise.